You want to be with Michael? I, I don't get it. Christian, you don't have to get it. You just have to accept it. Natalie. Look, I love you. And you love me. I know it. So what the hell is going on here? <laughs> of course there is. But what about last night? But what about it? What, you're kidding, right? Natalie, I told you that I wasn't married to Jen, that I wasn't going to be. Well, it's not too late to change your mind. I mean, I'm sure Jen will take it back. Wait, wait a minute. That, this wasn't your reaction then. You said you were going to talk to Michael and get a divorce or, or an annulment or whatever it took to get you free. I know. I know I did. I did that because I, I didn't want to hurt you. Oh, come on. That's a load of bull, and you know it. We were finally going to be together. We told each other how much we loved each other. I know that. We nearly made love in my car. But we didn't, okay? Why are you doing this? <sighs> Natalie, look at me. Look at me. We are going to be together. Because it's what you want and it's what I want. Christian, you know it is. Stop it, okay? Please! Fine, fine, I'll stop. As soon as you tell me why you're lying to me. Thing. Of course you have. But only a little bit. And I did it to make it easier on you. I mean, I, I did get carried away last night saying that we would be together. Carried away? Since when is saying what you feel being carried away? Well, we're not together now, are we, Christian? You're still with Jen. Yeah, but I'm taking care of that, Natalie. You, you, you keep saying that, that you're, you're taking care of that, that you're going to break it off with Jen, but you know what? It never happens. But it will, okay? I just need a few more hours. I told you that. A few more hours? Christian, this was supposed to happen last night. What's going on? Actually, it was supposed to happen before you asked Jen to marry you, but... Like I said, never seems to happen. So what are you saying? You're just going to throw everything away because you can't wait a few hours? Natalie, what kind of sense do you think that makes? Christian, I am on an emotional roller coaster here first. Not daring to love you. Then, not daring to believe that you would love me. But then I find out you do love me. But then we find out Jen's pregnant, and you're gone. Then she miscarries, and you're back. Only you're not back because she can't handle it yet. Yeah, okay, but that, that's all going to be over soon. No. No, it's all over now, Christian. I I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of wishing for something that's always one step away from me, no matter how fast I run after it. You know what, to be honest, I'd rather have nothing, at least know where I stand. Natalie, why are you doing this? Christian, I'm sorry, this is this way it's gonna happen. No, no, that's not true. I don't believe a word of it, any more than you do. Just listen to me. I am listening, I've been listening to you, and you're not making any sense at all. Just leave me, okay? Go back to Jen. I don't care. Just go. Go back to Jen? How could you possibly think that, would, that I would ever do that? Ever. She loves you. But I don't love her, Natalie. Don't you get that? I love you. You didn't tell her. Well, because I haven't had a chance. We keep getting interrupted. She keeps interrupting me. There's another reason, Natalie. No, no, Christian, there's not. I'm, I'm just, I'm growing up now. No, come on, don't tell me that. Tell me the real reason you don't want to be with me. I told you. I'm with my husband now. He makes me feel safe. That's, that's who I want to be with. No, I want the real reason. And it doesn't have any, anything to do with, with what Jen knows and what Jen doesn't know. I want to know the truth, Natalie. What's the real reason? Fine! Fine! I'll tell you, there is one more reason, okay? Yes, there is another reason that I'm staying with Michael. In fact, there are many reasons. Hey, I'd settle for one. Okay. Well, Michael made me realize that you and I are not meant to be together. What? Well, that's why I told you to go back to Jim, but you weren't getting the hint. Why are you suddenly listening to Michael? Because I know in my heart that he's right and that God wants he and I to be together. Is that what Michael says? How can Michael know what God wants? Natalie, how can anybody know that? Look, it's, it's not just what Michael says that makes me believe him. It's, it's what he does. I mean, he found me at my lowest, and he lifted me back up onto my feet. Natalie, he's taking advantage of you. No, he's not taking advantage of me. He gives. He's very giving. Okay, and what has he given you? Faith. 
Faith that things can work out even when you don't think they will in the beginning. And faith that, that God has a plan and it's, it's useless to fight it, Christian. And look, my, my path is not with you. It's with Michael and it's with God now. Natalie, this guy is using you. Christian, stop it. You asked me for a reason and you got one. Yeah, but it's wrong. Why would God be against us being together? Well, he is now that I'm married. But you haven't even slept with the guy. It doesn't matter. I made a vow to God. You can't just make break a promise like that. You know, you want me to tell you what God is? God is love. Now, can you look at me in the face and tell me that you love this guy the way you love me? Can you? There are all kinds of love. You see? You see, you don't love him. You love me. I didn't say that. So why don't you tell me the rest of it? What's the real reason? Because it doesn't matter. I already told you what I'm doing. Now just leave me alone. Natalie. You followed me here? You can't just run away from me like that. You have no right to be here. Is this where he lives? Please, please, just leave us alone. No, I can't do that. Not when I know you're lying to me. There's no way you can love this guy, not the way you love me. Natalie, you're home. Natalie, come with me. My wife has made her feelings known, quite passionately, in fact. She wants to be with her husband. I hope you can find the inner strength to accept that. My wife and I will pray that you do. Ellie, what's going on? I told you, Christian. Michael and I are meant to be together. What about us? There is no us. You're still with Jen. We talked about that. I told you I'm going to handle her. My wife tells me that you still have some feelings for her. Feelings? I'm in love with her. And perhaps she even had some feeling for you at some time, but um, she's made her choice. Natalie has chosen to honor and commit herself to her marriage, to live in God's light and grace. I really think there's nothing more to say about it. Michael's right. You should go. Natalie, you gotta listen to me. No, Christian, I want you to go, and I don't want to have anything more to do with you. Something else is going on here. There has to be. Darling, you should be very proud of yourself. You just saved Christian's life. I hate you for what you just made me do. You don't mean that. Oh. 
Christian, seeing us together, it broke his heart. Did you not see his face? Priceless, hmm? I lied to Christian. I had to make him think that I wanted to stay married to you. Very convincingly, I might add. That kiss was especially effective. I held up my end of the deal. Now, how do I know you're going to hold up yours? How do I know that you are not going to hurt Christian? You don't. I'm afraid there's no way you can know for an absolute certainty that I won't harm Christian. I guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Your word doesn't mean a damn to me. Oh, ye of little faith. Yeah, and either is your so-called faith. All you care about is power and revenge. Power over me and revenge over my mother. Well, those aren't the only things I care about. There's also the money. I mean, after all, as a Buchanan heir, you're a very rich woman. Yes, and you can make me a very rich man. So that's what this is about. You want my money. Well, money grants us the freedom to do so many things. Then you're not getting a dime of it. Not until I know that Christian is safe. Until then, we have nothing more to talk about. I beg to differ. There is still one other thing I want from you. Thank you.